Thanks again for visiting and supporting MonarchOutfittersInc.com. Today's video, we're going to do the installation for the Rain 360 tree stand. Uh, the last video was focused on the assembly, so we have that all done already. So we had our ladder sections off to the side, and, and we had a stack during that video that was just for the installation purposes. So we got through the assembly. Now we're going to go through all the parts that were stacked off to the side. You have your ladder sections. You have the brace back to the stand. Um, so that's going to go back to the ladder sections to the tree. And you have your back brace, which is made up of three parts. You have the collar that's going to go around the back. And you have the two back braces with the pins on them and the angled, uh, the angled support at the bottom. You also have the back rail section. It's the combination safety rail and shooting rail. And we're going to put that in after it's up as well. Hardware, you're going to have three ratchet straps and you're going to have your support straps that you're going to use during installation. Um, you're going to also have a second set of hands with you. Um, this is not a one person install, so we're going to have our camera guy come out and he's going to help us with the installation process today as well. Um, so again, three ratchet straps, your support straps, you have a chain and turn buckle. Uh, we'll show you how to get that in there. And you're going to have your D-clips and your nuts and bolts to secure the ladder sections uh, to, the, to the platform itself. So from here, I'm going to move the pieces that I don't need off to the side, get them out of the way. So that's going to be the back brace, the back rail, and the section for the, uh, the brace back to the tree. We're going to get those out of the way, and I'm going to flip this up and on its uh, upside down on the rails in order to get the, set that first section on. So I'm gonna move this stuff over and get that flipped up. I'm gonna flip this over onto the rails. So you have your main supports facing up you're going to have your two holes on either side, and you're going to have your first section, your first ladder section. You have the sleeves that are going to have the holes also aligned on that side, and we're going to get these right on in place. You're going to take your nut and bolt that we had off to the side. You are going to need, again, two open end half inch. We're going to feed these through, put a washer on that bolt, and put that nut on to secure it. We're going to get that nice and tight. You can do the same thing on the other side. Get that through, put the washer, get the nut. And go ahead and get these nice and tight. First section's on. Now we're going to be able to take the second ladder section, move it closer to the tree, get everything aligned, put that together, attach it. Again, same same method with the sleeve over the end. This time it's going to attach with the D-rings that are included. So we're going to slide this down closer to the tree, right about three feet out. We're going to flip this back back down. D-rings unlock, goes off, and just get these sections aligned. Slide in the clip, make sure that's locked in place. Same thing on this side. Your ladder section are now attached to the platform. We are going to take safety straps, we're going to tie them off to the back. 
They're going to go around the tree and they're going to make an X across the back of the tree, which we will show you during the, during the install. Just make sure they're tied secure across the back of the platform. So we're going to need a second set of hands to help secure and lift it into place. Same thing, as far back as you can go. Get that tied off nice and tight. All right. Now those are on. Now I'm gonna position this so that we're straight against the tree and that you're gonna find yourself a nice level spot and be able to level it off and be able to lift it into position. So we'll show you, we'll get the position of the camera right. The camera guy's gonna help me get it all in place. Okay, we have this in position now, aligned with the tree so that we can go ahead and lift it up. Before we do, and before the camera guy comes out, we're gonna take the uh, turnbuckle and the chain, and we're gonna, we're gonna feed it through for the locking bridge system. This way that system doesn't, um, doesn't close on us during the during the install while we're lifting. So there's a there's a bracket back here. You'll see a sleeve that you're going to feed the chain through. You're going to give yourself enough room and just let that open. You're going to make sure it's in the open position. And you're going to go ahead and just use the turnbuckle to feed it through. Um, just make sure that it's uh, that it's all the way through and hook it onto onto the platform itself. Um, you're just gonna do that, give it some, you just tighten it down. It's just to hold it loosely open. This way, it just stays out of out of your way during your, the rest of your install. All right. So then that's fully open. You do have the support straps in the back. Joe's gonna come over and he's gonna foot it at the base and he's going to help lift, and I'm going to lift from the front and get it into position. Now that you're up, we're going to go through and do the install of the brace from the tree to the ladder. Uh, that's the next step, and then we're going to take it and go through the install of the back braces to get the security in the back. Okay, so now I have, I went and grabbed one of the ratchet straps, and I have the brace that's going to go from the tree back to the ladder. So we're going to attach the bracket on the end, we're going to take off the nut with the um, the, the wing nut and the bolt. We're going to attach the bracket over the rung. We're going to do the rung about midway up, should be on that first section that we attach to the platform. So we're going to attach that and then use the ratchet strap to string it around and it's going to the buckles, the hooks are going to pull into this bracket here. It does adjust, so you're going to see a series of holes so you can make sure that it's at the appropriate height and distance from the tree to make sure that the ladder section's in place the, for your specific spot. Here. And we'll just get that wing nut on. 
just get that nice and tight. You're going to want to make sure that it is positioned as much in the middle as you can. And we'll use the ratchet strap to pull that in against the tree. Come in here, bring it around. So you got both hooks right in that bracket. Lift it up so it is level as much as you can. Get the ratchet strap a bit tight. And pull that in. So you have the brace back to the ladder to the tree. So next we're going to work on the back braces that are also going to come back from the very far corners back to the tree. Okay, now that the support is against the ladder and the tree, that's securely in place. We're gonna take one of the other ratchet straps and the two back braces and the collar. So the collar we're gonna end up putting on and securing to the bottom of the braces uh, once they're in place to the brackets that are on the bottom of the platform. So the collar itself you're gonna see has teeth that are slash cut and those slashes are going to end up um, facing up so you want the, the slash to be at an angle so that the longest part is on the bottom that's the right side up and when we do attach it I'll show you again when we attach it um, the bolt is going to feed from the inside that goes against the tree out so that the nut is on the outside so you wouldn't be tight and you can tighten it the right way so we're going to put this off to the side just for a minute and you are going to tighten it with the half inch open ends I want to show you the back brace where you're gonna have the pin that's across the top. You're gonna have a series of holes that allow you to adjust the height to make sure it's the appropriate height when you get the angle and against the tree. And this bottom hole is where that collar is going to end up going in and getting secured. Uh, so on the bracket, you're gonna have uh, an open bottom and you're gonna see uh, a slot or a rail on the side this is going to end up going in so it's horizontal and perpendicular or I'm sorry parallel to the um, to the opening and those slots once it goes into that bracket you're going to simply turn it so we'll get a close-up of what that looks like as we install this side so you're going to feed the back of the brace up with that pin side up and that pin is going to be parallel to the slot that you see on either side so you're going to slide that right into the bottom and you're going to twist it so that it locks it into place. So now it's hanging there secure and it's going to feed to the back. Once we get it into position, you're going to notice that it does slide all the way to the back corner of that brace. And it's going to lock it into position once we get that collar and the opposite side on. Now that we have the back braces in place inside those brackets, I grab the collar that's going to go against the tree this way. We're going to secure it. Again, there's a nut and bolt on each side. You're going to have a big hole and a smaller hole. The, the bolt is going to feed from the inside out into that smaller hole. And you're going to have a hole at the bottom of the bracket where it angles. The bottom of the brace where it angles. You're going to feed that this way as well. And you're going to, feed, you're going to get that nut on the back of there and get that tight. So we'll get that in position. We're going to hand tighten first. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing on this side. You'll see it on this, and we will take the bolt, get that fed through. You're gonna feed it through here, and we're gonna grab this and feed it through there. Get this hand tightened, and we'll go ahead and use that half inch open ends and get this nice and secure. Same thing on this side. All right. So this is another point where you are gonna need that second set of hands. This bigger hole is for the ratchet strap. So as I work on getting that ratchet strap fed around the tree and to these holes on each side, uh, Joe is gonna come back. He's gonna make sure that it is level 
So he's going to take a look, make sure that it's level, and he's going to push this up if needed. So you'll be able to raise the back of the platform enough if you need to level it off and just support it into position um, as I go ahead and tighten the ratchet strap. So I have the hook here. I'm going to feed that through that, that hole on the side. Do the same thing as I come around here. I'm going to go ahead and feed that through. Make sure it's all the way through and that it's all nice and secure. You're going to add some tension and go ahead and ratchet these down. This is another one you want to make sure is extremely tight. Don't be afraid to pull and get this one really nice and secure. That's locked in place. You have the brace back to the ladder section. That's all nice and locked in place. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to finish the installation up on top of the platform now that we have the stability of it all locked in. Okay, now that we have everything secured to the tree from the back braces, the ladder, the brace to the ladder with the safety straps, um, the next step is going to be really securing it with the chain and turnbuckle, getting the seat into position. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lift the seat up. It does have that D-ring, the same ones that we use in the ladder to keep it locked. It's a locking, uh, the safety locking pin. Uh, we're, that's just going to keep it in the up position while we go ahead and get ourselves strapped in because we want to make sure that we are strapped to the tree as we do the rest of the install. So I have my harness on. I'm holding the seat up and we're going to go ahead and we're going to ratchet the seat to the tree. You're going to have a hole in the front portion of this cross brace for the seat and that's where the, the hook is going to go. So we'll get that right in on this side and I'll feed it around to the opposite side. We'll get the S hook right into that hole. Position the strap a little bit up at an angle just so that it's in the right position so that you can go ahead and get it with the right amount of tension on there and get that in place. Ratchet that in. And your seat will tighten again at the very end. So the seat is locked up, you have the ratchet strap, and we'll go ahead and we'll retighten. It's gonna stay in the locked position, up, so it's out of the way during the rest of the install as well. So your seat is up, out of, out of your way, and it's all locked to the tree. Now we have the door, the locking bridge system, is in the open position. We had secured it open with the chain and turnbuckle uh, during the first part of the installation, so we can go ahead and we can loosen that up now just to be able to get that out. We only had a turn or two. So you have your turnbuckle, you have your chain. One end is going to um, just be the link and the other end, you're gonna have the clevis on there. So now that it's loose, you're gonna wanna make sure that the locking bridge system is pushed all the way into its back position. This way it clears the back of the tree. We can go ahead and shut that. All right, there's locking tabs on the opposite side. So when I go over on that side, before I tighten anything, I wanna make sure that those tabs are closed in the closed position and um, it'll hold it in place and secure the, the back piece. The side that has the clevis, we're gonna put on the opposite side. So just put that back there. You'll notice that it is, again, strung through that brace in the back. And we have the turnbuckle on this side and we'll show how that's gonna go. So I'm gonna go on the other side, grab the other end of that chain now. So you have these tabs we want to make sure are shut and those are in the lock position. Grab the other end of the chain with the clevis. There's a hole on the bracket that's on the right side, my right side that we're facing right now. We're going to feed this clevis through and we're going to make sure that is completely shut. That's open. Gonna 
feed that through and screw that shut and make sure it's completely closed. I want to make sure that's nice and tight and completely secure. So you have your clevis in, we're going to go back to the opposite side. So we're going to pull all the slack that we can off of the chain here. We're also going to pull and give it a nice nice tug, make sure that block and bridge system is fully against the tree. So don't be afraid to give it a nice tug and make sure that those teeth are against the tree. So holding a bit of tension on there, you have your turnbuckle. Uh, it should be in its outermost position, so you want it fully extended. And what you're going to do is find the farthest link that you can that will allow you to still get the end of the hook into the bracket. So the same way we had the hole on the opposite side that we put the clevis in, there's a hole right on the top of that bracket that you're going to feed that hook through. So we're going to hook the chain, it's a little too far, and we'll get it into that hole there. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to use either a little screwdriver, um, that's usually the best thing to use, uh, just to be able to get into the middle and really tighten this. So we're going to hand tighten, hand tighten this, get this nice and nice and snug, and then we'll use the screwdriver in order to really ratchet that down and get, get the tension on there. And this is going to really secure that locking bridge system and the whole platform against the tree. So you have the teeth on this side and you have the teeth on the locking bridge system that's going to pull it in and squeeze from both sides. Really get this tension on here. Give it a little shake, make sure we have it in position. Uh, again, make sure you're strapped to the tree before you do really move around. And just tighten a little bit more. All right, and that should be all tight. The rest of the remaining chain can kind of feed through because there should be a little bit of a space there. Um, depending on the size of that tree that you're using, just move that chain out of the way. Um, there is a spot here too if you need to get that chain out of the way. So. Now that this is fully secure, you have your locking bridge system safely in place, the next step is going to be putting in the back shooting and safety rail. So now we have the rear safety and shooting rail installed. It's going to go on the same way that the front one did during the assembly video. Uh, you have a bolt with a wing nut and you have a bolt with a washer and a regular nut. Um, the first thing I did was, before I moved back here, I did reposition the strap for my safety harness just so that it's in a better position. It's a more ideal uh, position that I'm going to use if I were to in a, in a hunting scenario anyway. It just gives me the, the mobility that I need. That's the proper mobility for, for hunting and scouting. So um, again, the rear safety and shooting rail, you're going to have two holes on the rail piece itself and then you're going to have three holes on the side rail. So that bottom hole is going to go to the middle hole on the side rail. So the bottom hole on the um, on the rear rail is going to go to the middle hole on the side rail and that's going to be uh, the one that has the washer and the nut. The washer is actually going to go in between the, uh, the rail sections. So we'll feed this one through the bottom. We'll get that washer on and we'll go ahead and feed that one through. Get that nut started. Go ahead and get that that top one in place too. Right. And we're going to take the one with the wing nut. So it's just a bolt and wing nut. The wing nut's going to make it easier for you if you want to change positions, um, get those limbs out of the way. Not up. Get that on there. Get that nice and tight. So get 
this side hand tighten, get that in place. I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, and again, wing nut and the regular bolt. Feed that through the bottom, get the washer on there, and then we'll go ahead and get that through that middle hole. And get that on there. Get that and the wing nut on. Tighten. Go ahead and I do have those open end wrenches. So it's the half inch again for the bottoms. And we'll get those nice and tight. Same thing on the opposite side. So you now have the rear rail and safety rail and shooting rail in position. And you have your locking bridge system all securely in place so you're really secure against the tree now it's safe to maneuver around and you're locked in with your harness so we're gonna go around to the front again to the front of the tree stand and we're gonna go ahead and remove that locking the seat locking pin so that it can flip up and down so um, we'll head that way and we'll get that out of there now that I'm back in the front of the stand uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna remove the D ring the same D-ring that we use for the ladder sections. You'll see that it's right against the main post and the pivot, uh, right underneath the pivot bolt of the seat. Uh, so it's the locking seat pin. We're just gonna remove that. That's gonna give it the ability to move up and down. Uh, you could put it in your pocket, in your pack, get it out of the way. Um, if you want, you could hook it right to the, right to the uh, S-hook, to the ring of the S-hook if you wanted to. Um, but it allows the seat flip up and down get it out of your way, get yourself in the optimal position. And your install for your Rain 360 so, is complete. Hope you enjoy. Thanks again for supporting us and visiting us at monarchoutfittersinc.com. Check out the rest of our tree stands and everything else we have to offer, all the other videos about the Rain 360, and as well as the Sentinel line of tree stands and everything else we have to offer. Thanks again and good luck out there.